rolling around at the speed of a pitfall hairy guy. Go places to go, go to load this next screen. What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play with Monkeys. I hear you, monkeys. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, man. Can we, can we smash strike them down? Huh, what the heck just happened there? Oh, oh, he's still on me. That's not good. I thought he'd be off me. Ah, oh, that sucks. Maybe they knock you off the ledge. You lose. You lose health. Oh, good lord, dude. Okay. So while it's not as obvious right now, we're gonna find these birds that are in these bushes. Why? It'll make sense when we're on, when we're on the other side of the battered bridge. But for now, just just trust me. Uh, I don't know where these birds are off the top of my head. I haven't no, well, I haven't even looked for them since like the first part or the since the last time I played this game. To be honest, I don't know where Mama is. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. She's around here somewhere. Uh oh, I hear a burp. Oh, I think that's the baby monkey actually. <laughs> they just burp on you for some reason. So stupid and pointless, but it's great. <laughs> oh, did, is Mama just gone? Where's Mama? There's Mama Monkey. Did she just disappear? There's another baby over here. Does the game think I don't have a baby on me? No, I, I guess it does. She's just gone. Did she die? Did she fall off the ledge somehow? Maybe she fell off when she like came over here and went to kick me. Oh no, she's here. Can you not see me, Mama? She's stuck. That's cool. Whoa, she's, her eyes are closed. She looks creepy close up. She's she's formidable and scary far away, but close up she looks... Well, that, that's kind of cool. As long as I don't die, I might have a nice little advant advantage then. So here we go, the battered bridge, which is now just a bunch of platforms, apparently. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. What? I don't have half my health. That's kind of unfortunate. I do think there's a healing spring on the other side of the bridge, though. Thankful... Not a part so very long ago when I was like, oh, you know, as long as I don't die, she'll stay there. <gasps> Woo! I gotta be careful. Gonna be well, I guess I could drink my healing water. Okay, there is no fear. There is no need to fear. There is no need to fear. My name is Borat. My name is Brat. My name is Brat Stalls. Alright, jump over there. Over yonder, some might say. <laughs> it's not funny. I don't know why I laughed. So, healing water. First priority. I'm oh, traveling with this monkey on my my. I was just saying my back. That's not my back at all. <laughs> this monkey on my chest. So if you jump up here, you'll see. Whoa! Like you see this bird. Sta this parrot statue just came up. I don't know why they're parrot. I don't think it's parrots flying out. But you'll see a lot of them are down. So we have four, five, six down, and three, four, four sticking up. So that means we need to find a bunch more birds. In these freaking bushes, when that happens, that should rise up. Now, this always chips me up. I have no idea where these are, I always forget. I always feel like I check every single bush. And the bushes could be anywhere in this area. So, but as long as you walk over the bush, it kind of like clears it for you. Like, you don't have to walk over it once. You don't have to like punch anything or anything. As long as you walk over it, it'll be fine in the hood. I don't know why it's in the hood for. But it is. Um, aha, there's one right there. I believe they could be in any of this grass too, so the, the big grass, the small grass, the grass that begins with the letter B. Oh, snappers. Well, now we know porcupine beats native. That's racist. <laughs> the hierarchy of the world. Uh, Alright, there's another one. So, four more, I think? I think one of them that always messed me up is actually up here. There's one in like. Oh, I thought there was a bush on the edge of this, on the end of this ledge, but oh, there it is, right there. This one, right here. Yeah, there we go. That's gotta be one that always messes me up. That just looks like the Tripsky Hobbits is one. And I'm pretty sure it actually saves how many birds you got. So like, I could leave this area and come back here, like, like at the end of the game. I'm pretty sure it would still. No. Did you guys see the spiders again? They're so scary. They're like white and huge. Mm, I still need quite a bit more, to be honest. Did I, did I check all these bushes already? I I'm pretty sh dang sure I did. Pretty dog diggity sure. I think I checked this one as well, but I'm already running out of options here, so... Start messing around. Ah, I have still so many left to find. Aha! 
Three more, I think. Gotta check this one. I guess so. How many? One, two. You know what? I wonder if it's something like all these ones on this side, like are on this side of the bridge, and all the ones on this side might be on the other side of the bridge. Hmm. I think I'm gonna head back over there then, because that might be true. I just scratched my arm. I feel like that was very loud. <laughs> Apologize if that was very loud. If you just heard a weird scratching noise, it's just my arm. Don't be afraid, unless you are afraid. Whoa! Oh, come on! You totally could have grabbed that with your arm, with your recently scratched arm. <laughs> my recently scratched arm. Okay, I was gonna say that didn't look like I should have grabbed that. <gasps> are you serious? I was totally on there. I like floated off. I was like. Ooh. It's weird how they put me on that platform even though I was kind of already off of it. Alright. Let's head back over here. Hopefully find this relatively quickly. I don't want to spend all three an episode here. Oh, the monkey got out. Oh no, she's still stuck in there. I don't feel like it's kind of... <gasps> no! Why would I do that? I totally could have made it too if I didn't ground... Why would you ground pound? In every single game ever, ground pounding makes you go directly down. <gasps> Why am I so bad at this game? Why? That shouldn't be a thing. This is my game. <laughs> I'm good at this game. Well, I'm good at this game, guys. It's because I'm blindly jumping. I'm trying to be quick. I'm rushing. I'm rushing letting. Get it? Because I'm rushing. I, I don't I don't get it. It's okay. Alright. Back over yonder. Let's go take a look over here. Whoa, you guys see that little glowing screen? Is there a bush on top of over here? Doesn't look like it. No! I hate when that happens. Sliding off like a slippery little snake. A slippery little snake. I don't think there's a bush up here, but just to clear my conscious. Yeah, there's nothing. Alright, good to know. Two more birdies. Two more birdies. Pretty sure we got the one here. Yep. To be honest, we should probably just start on like one side and make my way around. Alright. There, cool. I wonder how I punch the monkey. <laughs> Let's not experiment with that. I did check all the bushes again down by the shaman, right? I don't remember. Burp. First burp and stuff. Stay there, Mr. Mama Monkey. I don't even know how I'd replicate that. <gasps> oh, there's one. Where's the other little bugger? Be careful, don't walk off screen, that would suck. Uh, there's nothing, kid, okay, there's nothing like there. Where's the last one? Oh, there it is, that's it. Ah, oh, it even shows you a cutscene, perfect. Okay, so I guess I, that is that is a good indication, though. All the ones on the left are all the ones on this side of the battered bridge. All the ones on the right are all the ones that are on that side of the battered bridge. That is really good to know. We, we only spent half this episode doing that. It is the long, one of the longest items to get in this game, or one of the more trickier ones. And I do think it was one of my very last items to get in my original playthrough of this game, like my very first one. Uh, Alright! Let's do this, and then this, and this, woo, and then this, and whoa, that, that leg, that leg, dope. Alright, whoa. Alright, yeah. monkey on my back. Monkey, you witnessed that entire thing, what do you think? I thought so too. What? Is that filled up? Okay. I go so long without using my canteen. Like, did I fill this up? I don't even know anymore. I thought I just saw a guy up here, but no. Ooh, are the freaking spiders gonna be back? No. Oh, I love how it just flames up like that. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but the monkey actually jumps off you when you go into the next screen. Oh, this one. This is like one of the main hubs of the game. Well, it's not really. But it's a huge area, and it, like, there's a lot of ways to go. Maybe not now. You probably need other things to unlock which way to go. Look, there's a crocodile. Crikey! But uh, yeah, you'll be seeing this place a lot. There's like 17 different ways to go. This game is probably before, but still, that's still quite a significant amount. Ah, oh, seriously? It's so easy to like kind of step on something that looks like a saddle, but then you like s slowly start to slide. It's not very forgiving. Um, right. There's only one way to go for now, which is yonder. I don't know why I'm starting to say this. 
Ah, oh, geez, wow, I gotta stop it. Uh oh, uh oh, dang it. Uh oh, gotta get him, gotta get him, gotta get him, gotta get him. Ah, oh, I almost did it without taking damage, even though I don't think that's possible. But it always looks like he can. Alright, Mr. Crocodile Alligator. Uh-huh, uh-huh, go on, tell me more, tell me more about your business portfolio. Yes, you're hired, you got the job. Oops, gotta slide down. <laughs> I purposely try to get to the top of the vine, like jump onto the top of the vine just so I get to say that. Just because it's so awesome. I think this is gonna be our first instances of seeing... Crocodiles in mud! They just run at you, and then they throw you upwards. And then you land in the middle of their mud. I don't, I don't know why. It's like, if, if he's not trying to eat me, what are you doing? Whoa! Whoa! Uh, firebomb towers. Go, 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 How the heck? I, I don't know. Okay. There's a whole bunch of coals there. I'm not gonna even try walking around, because we already tried that before. So now there's two ways to go. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. Into the Tower of Death and Doom, and the wall. A very suspicious looking wall. <laughs> That's lighter than the rest of them. Oh, Nintendo, you're silly. Or Activision, or whatever the company is. I, I think the Activision only produced this game. I don't know who actually created this game. I'm not entirely sure what exactly a producer does. Is that just like the company name people put stuff under so they like. Well, not. Not, I don't mean like specifically Activision, but just producing in general. Is it that there's the company that makes the games and like sells it under their name so you know it's more advertising? I, I've never really understood how that works, but uh, yeah, I guess we'll go this way. There was another way to go, but we will, well, maybe, maybe, maybe we should try going that way. So let's go this way, you know, let's try going that way and see what happens. I don't know if that's the way to go. I guess there'd, uh, there'd be an easy way to check, which is my map. It would be easiest to check after I'm already in there, so let's go see. Don't do it! He did it. Oh, he did it! The Ladder of Miles. The Ladder of Miles. Is Miles a person, or is that to insinuate that the ladder is a very long thing? <laughs> uh, okay then. Oh, I'm not gonna tell me I need mask? Okay, well, I started choking on it. Mama Ula Tower. Oila Tower? Yeah, I don't freaking know. Alright, Mama o Ula. Oh, it is o Oila? Oila? I don't freaking know. Look at that scary face. Is that like. It's like a skeleton monkey face almost. It's, it's, it's creepy, okay? I find it very. Ow! I didn't take any damage. <laughs> I love how he started running after he hit me. Uh, I don't know if there's anything up this way, but let's go take a look. It's at this point in the game where I start to forget where stuff is. Are. Where stuff is? Yeah, where stuff is. Where stuff are. I can't believe I said that with the serious. Is that, is that how that said? No, Chris. No, it is not. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, see, it's not blocked off. But, you see, there's actually like a little thing there to indicate that it's not always open here. Aha! So let's do this. And then this weird sun goes from night to day. I don't get it, but okay if you say so, game. <laughs> and it spins the entire tower. That's pretty freaking cool. And then, ta-da! You're like, well, what does that do? It's a small tower. What could that possibly lead to? Well, it just leads to the other side of this level, which is weird, or this area. I guess they're not really levels. Let's go over here. Now, was oh, this not... Oh, interesting. However, oops, if we do this and then, come on, come on now. <laughs> I love how like over dramatically he always flips that switch. If you do that and jump up here real quick, I believe you can get somewhere. Is this? I, think, I guess it's this. How high does that go? Jeez. Okay, maybe I'm not going to be able to get back up there. But, you can see little Z's popping out. Yeah, you need this super smash. Come on, that rock in your head didn't wake you up. I need to specifically punch you to wake you up. Hola, my Eta. Um. No, just to make things easier on myself in future editing. Wait, wasn't Jungle Modes 10 idols before? Oh, I only have three idols? Seriously? 
Holy crap! Heart of the jungle. With these notes? Well, I can't even... Yeah, you do not have an idol, enough idols. That's funny. I have a little piece of paper I pull out to explain that. Canteen max increase. It's powerful. Let me carry more mystical healing water around in the canteen. Always good to have some extra healing water. Just in case. I know just in case. He's a cool guy. So if you open up the canteen, you see there's a new one there. Typically what I do is I'll buy like one health and then I'll buy canteen max. And one health and a canteen. What is that? Oh. Say, so what is that down there? Like right above my head. That like little gray glowing thing. But that's that's one of the tiki's that lights up when you... Yeah. Oh, I could jump up there. Awesome. Oh, but I still am not... Oh, but I can't jump down here. Okay, that's easy. I don't know. No. Okay. So yeah, now if we try to go this way, the way we initially came... Oh, it's not blocked off, right? Because we hit it twice. Gotcha. I figured it out with my big, big brain. Alright. Spinning down, spinning down. Yeah, now if we come over here, we'll see it's spinning down. Yay, my favorite TV series of all time, spinning down. <laughs> That'd be funny if that was actually a TV show. Uh-oh, so silly, Chris. Uh, whoa, that could have ended badly. I don't think we want to go down there. I think we want to go over there, actually. So I think we're trying to get over there. Which, I mean, we can just jump to, really, right? Theoretically. Wow, I was totally off there. It looks like we could totally do that. If I could ever grab on, which is not going to work. I know it's not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I guess we could kind of cheat it anyways. Uh-oh. Uh, or not. Or I could just fall all the way down here. But one little kind of cheaty thing you could do to get up. Like if you fall somewhere like this, you get caught by an out or a on purpose. And these guys, how they work is they'll always spit you up to where you were on solid land last. So now we're up here. Uh, yeah. I don't think this, I think that just, this is the spot that leads to the ladder of miles, right? I think so. Yeah, right. So now I'm going to go back down here, where we initially found the tower, please. Okay, I was going to say, please land on the ledge. And now we can actually go through here. Yeah, I'm supposed to end off this episode, but I really want to get to the end. A good, like, stopping point, like, at the end of this area, which we're coming up to. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of town. I'm pretty sure there's vines somewhere around here. Yeah, they're over there. Oh, uh, you know, I know how to get to those. Dang it, well... Is it here? Oh, I guess it is here. Oh, there's this porcupine strewn about here, just kind of hanging out. They're just... Well, they're not really hanging out, they're just waiting to kill me. <laughs> they just want my face. My facial features. So yeah, if you swing on these vines, you'll see this idol at the end here, which you can already see. Whee! Got a nice shot of Pitfall Heavy's bomb there. It was disgusting and made me feel sick to my stomach. St <gasps> what the heck? I thought for sure I was gonna grab that ledge. What the heck again? Damn you, game! Alright, come on. Just eat me. <laughs> Uh, oh. That's great. So now we're back up here. Dang it, I can't believe. <sighs> oh, that's just flowers. I totally thought this flower that I just rolled over there. Totally thought that was a porcupine. Ah! That was a porcupine. Freaking porcupines. Describe this. Their camouflage as flowers. Describe this. What, what's that word I'm trying to think of? Disguise. That's it. Described. Remember, if you want to this, or subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, I'm stupid. Alrighty. Eh, eh. Oops, gotta slide down. Whee! Yeah, if you just mash control stick, you guys can probably hear that. You get a lot of momentum real quick, even though that's not really how momentum works. <laughs> so whatever. If you say so, game. Uh, where do we want to go? I believe the way forward. Oh, it's this way, isn't it? All right, 20 minutes into this episode, we're now going to start to read the journal. The Jungle Trail. Let's go to the Jungle Trail. Oh yeah. The trail of all the jungles. Oh, little gophers. So if I actually go to the map right now, I'll actually see... Where's the Mama Oila Tower? Is it there? Oh, there's only three... Oh, four ways to go. There's four separate ways to go. That's crazy sauce. That's crazy. That's crazy town. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe already. My name is Chris, and the next episode, we'll maybe even make it to that X. We're actually starting to get pretty close. Um, if you want to stay and listen to me read the 
the notes. Uh, that's awesome. If not, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. And here's the journal stuff now. Oh, we don't have any to read. That's cool. Be scary. We have Tuco Tuco, which we actually just saw. Which, I mean, you might be, you might be wondering, what the heck is that? These adorable little guys usually don't get me into any trouble at all, but they can be a bit dangerous when I'm trying to do some wall climbing. They'll knock me right off if I'm not careful. So you're like, what the heck is that terrifying thing, and why is he calling it adorable? Well, it's actually these gophers that just popped out. I don't know why he draws them like that. It's really weird and scary looking, but okay, if you say so, game. Hey, there's a guy on the horse right there. That's cool. Uh, nothing in there. Okay, I guess that's it then. We didn't get any items. Wow. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye!